Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Delicate Hands Budget. Thank you for joining me today for my second savings challenge for the month of April. If you all have noticed, I didn't do a savings um, cash stuffing or savings challenges um, video for week one. So I will be including last week's savings challenge money in this video as well. So today I will be stuffing a total of $252. $188 is for this week's um, savings challenges and additional savings. And $64 will be coming from last week's paycheck that I didn't get a chance to stuff. Also today I will be um, letting you all know how I'll be saving for um, quarter Two, definitely, and most likely for the remainder of the year as well. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 2, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, one and 52 so I missed you guys last week with the savings challenge video but I had so much going on and each day just kept going by and I was like it just doesn't even make sense to record at this point I'll just add it with um, this week's video but I'm back so let's get into it. So first, I'm going to start with the additional savings. Let me see, am I? Yeah, I'll start with the additional savings binder. So first, we'll be cash stuffing our personal savings. So, you know, I usually give myself $25. I don't know why some of my envelopes I have the smaller denominations first and some of them I have the larger. It's not like I really have a preference, but I am going to switch it and to make them all um, go the same way. I don't know if I'm going to do all small first or all large. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 320. 5, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. And there goes Joe barking in the background. I apologize. He has a mind of his own. I think he can't find his uh, favorite toy. So emergency gets 25 as well. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 325, 35, 45, and 50. Okay, next month ahead. Twenty five as well. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty three, three, twenty five, thirty five, forty five, and fifty. So that's three fifty as well. Reward cash. I don't have any um, reward cash as of yet, so we're skipping that. My daughter, she'll get her 25 as well. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, 60, 80, 100, and 25, 35, 45, 
and 50. Okay, ones we have, we have $8 in singles for this week and I think four from last. So that, what is it, 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, it's 12. So we have $12 today. And for our fives, we have two fives. So we have 10. Well, oh, was that open already? Yes, I think that was open. So we have $10 and fives. Okay, so that's all for our um, additional binder. Moving on to our savings challenges. So as you know, I um, discontinued the previous savings challenges that I was doing, and I'm starting off with something new. And it took me some time to figure out what new savings challenges um, I wanted to do, because there are so many wonderful challenges out there um, that I, I just couldn't um, settle on one. So. I was um, going through my stickers and I ran across these stickers. I purchased these stickers sometime in like October of no or November of last year. And I was like, why don't I create my own savings challenge, if you will, um, and, and do it like that? So let me just show you. So like I said, I purchased these sometimes and in the last three months of last year, 2021. And I got these from Bonnie, and she has an Etsy shop, uh, Boulder Bond, on Etsy. You can also tag her on Instagram at Boulder Bond, if you like. And it says, Nikki, thank you for your first order. Hope you love your new goodies. XOXO Bonnie. So that's cute. So I purchased including this one that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A total of ten of these. And basically they're stickers. And you can obviously put them on a sheet of paper or wherever you're going to um, track your savings. And each of these are coins. And you select the denominations that you want to save. You can divide it up. Like, let's say you want to save $1,000 for emergency fund. You would put how much you saved at the end of the challenge and what your savings for. You So you would put emergency fund. And you can divide, I guess, evenly. I think this is 50 or 52 coins. So you would divide 50 or 52 into a a thousand and each um, coin would represent the denomination or you can just randomly you know select as you go and just indicate how many coins you want so what I'm going to do since there was an update with the student loan repayment and we have another extension till September 1st I believe Originally, I was going to st um, try to start knocking down on my personal debt. Now, I'm making my monthly payments regardless. And that's not so much of a stressor for me. So I said, why don't I jump on this student loans? Because I was going to leave that for my last debt to tackle. But with this extension, I said, you know what? No. Let me start trying to save up towards the student debt. I don't know why he just didn't uh, extend it for the rest of the year. That's neither here nor there. I'm grateful for the additional months that we, we do have. So I have two student debts totaling 
and some dollars. I don't remember the rest, but we're just going to round it to $42,000. The smaller of the two is $8,089. So I'm going to try my hardest to knock out the smallest one by the end of the year. I'm not going to say I'm going to um, get that up by September first, but I am going to try to save as much as I can, if not all, by the end of this year. And I'm going to use these to do it. So each month, I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to save however much. I'm not designating a specific amount because I know if I do that, I'm going to stress myself out to make sure that I do that and I'm not trying to be stressed. So whatever I save for that particular month, I'll jot it down. At the end of the month, I'll put that amount there and I'll move on. So every month, it'll get a new um, tracker, if you will. So I already put it in for the month of April. Um, I have to get a hole puncher, so I just did what I could and um, I punched some holes in here. So for student loan, that's what it says. Um, I'm going to use the rollover money from my cash envelopes and any other um, monies that I get until I get other income coming in. So usually that would be t tens and twenties. You know, I already saved my fives and ones. And I mean, now if I come across 50s or 100s, I'll definitely um, put that in here as well. So that's why I didn't uh, write all of the amounts in the event that I come across some 50s or $100 bills as well. So again, this savings is coming primarily from rollover money until um, I can attain some additional income to throw towards the saving. And that's another reason why I'm not stressing myself to say, oh yeah, I'm going to save $5,000 or I'm going to save the whole $8,089 by the end of the year, because I don't know if I'll be able to do that. That is my goal. I will try as best as I can, but um, I'm not going to stress myself out. Now, technically, I have the money right now from the savings challenges from uh, quarter one, my additional binder, and my sinking funds. I can pull all that money out right now and just knock out this small debt, but I refuse to do that. One thing this last two and a half years has um, taught me during this um, pandemic and other world events, do not spend all your money trying to clear off debt. You have to make sure that you have a, a cushion or savings, whatever you want to call it, set aside for emergencies. Whether you lose employment, or you get sick and you have to stay home, you need to make sure you have some type of savings available. So I will not be depleting any of the savings that I've acquired thus far in qu quarter one towards this. So that's that on that. So again, so just to recap, every month will get its own envelope and its own savings tracker. So we have the gold one or I guess rose gold for April. And I use these label stickers that I had um, already and I just put the um, month on them. So this is April, we have May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. And again, as soon as I get my um, hole puncher where I can cleanly hole punch, I will just insert the trackers at that time. So let's see how much we can um, allocate towards April's uh, paycheck number two savings so far. So since I didn't cash stuff, or rather do my savings challenge video for last week, I had $50 that I was going to allocate from my rollovers. And for this week, I have $80. So I have... $130 so far that I can um, put towards 
April savings thus far. Give me one second. So I think we're coming along nicely. So that's, so we only have 110, okay. Okay. And I'm going to just put them, you know, sporadic. No method, really. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six twenties. So that's one. Two, three. I want to leave myself space because ho hopefully the goal is to fill this whole uh, mason jar up. the tens came off so this is really going to um, push me to not spend that much being that this money is coming strictly from my rollovers so this is definitely a good way to keep me in line I mean I, I'm not really much of a spender nowadays there are a lot of things that I do want 20 40 60 80 100 But, you know, I'm so focused on trying to get myself out of debt and save so I can uh, buy some property very soon and things like that, that I'm trying to be on laser focus mode. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, one more, and 40. No, right? What am I talking about? Let me see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Okay, so we have them all. 130. So let's put this in the envelope. Okay. We're headed in the right direction. So that's all for today's um, savings challenges. But I, before we end, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, the one day my day ones, and for the new subscribers that I've seen that have subscribed in the last week or so. Um, I appreciate you all. I appreciate you so much. You don't even know how much. Um, there's been a couple of times that I wanted to stop um, this YouTube channel. But just seeing you all stick with me each week and as I gain more subscribers, you really give me the motiv motivation to um, keep going. So with that, I would like to do a giveaway. I... Um, not intentionally, but when I got my 100 subscribers, I had intentions on doing a giveaway at that time. But I think that was around the time I got 100 subscribers in February. And like I said, I didn't do um, any recording or rather I just did one week's worth of recording. That wasn't a real good month for me. So I would like to make that up now. And I would like to do a giveaway once I reach 200 subscribers. So I need your help with that um, by clicking the like button so this these videos can continue to reach more people and commenting um, and, and sharing my video. And hopefully others will subscribe as well. I don't know what I want the um, giveaway to be yet, but it'll either be a gift certificate 
Um, or maybe I'll just cash app some money or maybe a starter um, cash envelope binder. But I would love some suggestions from you all. So please leave them in the comments. If I don't get any suggestions, obviously I will um, select what the giveaway is by that time. But I would really appreciate your input. So again, as always, I appreciate you all and um, I hope you stick around for this next journey, which is my student loan debt, trying to knock out this $8,089 by the end of this year. But until next time, you know what to do. Continue budgeting. Bye.